It's an iconic show that follows a family of police officers in New York City. Blue Bloods is now in its ninth season here on CBS. Here's a sneak peek from tonight's episode. We pick it up right after an officer is shot. Hey. You okay? Not the one who got shot. I talked to Ramo's partner. He said you made the right call. I sure hope so. You had to send them in, Jamie. Could have waited for ESU to show up. The shooter had hostages, right? All alive and unharmed at the time. Don't do that. Do what? Armchair quarterback yourself. You did the right thing. Tell that to Ramos. Hmm. We're already sucked in. All right, we're so happy yeah. to welcome Will Estes, who plays Officer Jamie <laughs> Regan, and Vanessa Ray, who plays Officer Hi. Eddie Janko. Thank you for being with us on Better This Afternoon. Thank you for having hey, us. Thank you, guys. All right, just tell us what happens. I, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just We're, like break it. Just break it just, down. Yeah, okay? Just give us an exclusive, would you please? <laughs> you There's a really strong it. man with a suit standing right over there. If we let anything out of the bag, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can't got let you know. <laughs> we, and okay. Speaking of strong man in a suit, you know, I love the whole dynamic because there's police officers, but it's also, I, I, you know, of course, like anyone else, I tune in for the dinner scene at the end. What has that been like for you? And working with the strong man in the suit, i.e., Tom Zelik. <laughs> well, Vanessa Ray is pretty new to the family dinner table scene, so that was yeah. a, a big change up, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you say that. <laughs> what was that like? I was, to the table? Oh, I'd love to tell you. Um, well, it was terrifying and intimidating, <laughs> but I was glad I had my friend to help walk me through it. Um, everybody was, it, it was. I was so nervous about it because you know it's the most iconic part of the show. I would be and, too. I would. Right? Be too, yeah. Because if I come and I screw it up. Yeah. Like I was terrified. Like if I'm like the straw that breaks the camel's back of this like brilliant it's, show. That it's a love. scary room to forget a line at because. <laughs> It's a really long scene to shoot, yes. and you're you're surrounded by consummate professionals. So when you go up on a line at that table, it's a lot of it's a lot of people. It's a lot of eyes watching you mess up. And at first, they're all like, "No, it's okay. Just take your time. You're fine." And yeah, then after a while, they're like, "We've got kids. They We've got to go." Literally, um, <laughs> they will snore at you. Like if you go up on a line, you don't know you went up on a line because um, they'll go. Yeah. And it's, they will, you'll get called out. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Why Actually, do you that think hasn't never told technically that happened to me yet? That hasn't happened. It, has it happens ever. to the Terraciano brothers all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it happens to me a lot. We yeah. talked to Tom Selleck the day that this show went on the air. That was nine years ago. What, what do you think keeps the audience tuning in every week, week after week after week? Tom Selleck. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yes. And I like to end. also say other things, but um, that's probably the biggest. No, I, I think that, you know, Tom is is our leader on and off the show. Definitely. Um, he comes to work. He's the most studied. He's the most prepared. He knows character. He knows story. He could he could write, direct, and produce the show, but he maintains that he just wants to act on it. Um, mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I've, I've learned a lot just being in his, in his presence about staying ahead of the audience and just all these tricks of of the trade and, and um, you know, of storytelling from all his experience. And um, so it, it is Tom and, it, and it's, you know, sort of the, the, uh, the show that, you know, we've all helped, tried to help him create. Yeah, I've, for, I feel like I've learned a lot of those things by proxy through you and then now on set, I'm like, oh, it was never you. It was always just him. It was always just him. It was always his stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah nothing, <laughs> nothing for me. I'm glad well, we cleared that up. We back glad to you the, guys were here to work glad everyone through that with saw us. This. Back to the dinner <laughs> scene for a second. So we went down, uh, we sent a crew down to shoot with you guys, and we got to experience a little bit. But I just want our viewers to know, I hear that nobody, albeit maybe one person, actually eats the food. <sighs> you guys. No, we eat. <laughs> it's a we big, eat. it's a thing, okay? <laughs> because here's the thing, everyone's got a thing like a cutting of the meat or like a buttering of the bread or a drinking of the wine and I had to go through all of them to figure out what my thing was going to be. We were like, no, that's taken. <laughs> it's that's, taken. That's, that's Bridget's thing. You I ate a roll the other day for four hours and I realized that can't be my thing. <laughs> that 
that's not great. Well, we that much gluten isn't good for anybody. We, so. we want, we're out of time, unfortunately. <laughs> we talked to you all day, but uh, we just want to say congratulations. Continued success on the series. Thank, Thank you, you, guys. Thanks you so much. All right, take care, guys. You can watch a new episode of Blue Bloods tonight at 10 p.m. right here on Channel 3.